Good afternoon everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe and I am today at Indo-Russian Space Dialogue 2023, a first of its kind which has been organized in Delhi by Aviacool and uh, I'm very privileged to sit right now in front of Katerina Malesheva. She is from uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center but more than that, something very interesting from my audience she is the granddaughter of Yuri Malasheva. Yuri Malasheva, who was with Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma, the first Indian to be in the space. Wing Commander uh, Rakesh Sharma and there were two more astronauts, cosmonauts on a Russian spaceship. So today I'm going to speak to Miss Katerina about... She, she has heard it right from her childhood, the experiences that Yuri had while uh, he left for space he came back and all that she has experienced right from childhood she has heard the stories she had heard from her family from friends so uh katharina how it has been all these years listening and how how you did it was it that your legacy that you developed the interest for space Когда я начала работать в Центре подготовки космонавтов э, и встречаться с людьми, которые приехали... людьми, которые приезжали из разных мест, я была удивлена, э, сколько большой интерес э, космонавтики, потому что для меня это казалось чем-то обычным, э, ежедневным. Uh, met uh, people from different uh, countries, from different places. Uh, she was very surprised uh, because most of them were very uh, urged with space and they were very interested in it. Uh, I was aware that the cosmos is in the cosmos. Everything is possible. My dad was in the cosmos. She has known from her childhood that it's possible to get the space and uh, because her just her Grandfather was there. No, когда я с работой в центре подготовки космонавтов, я поняла, насколько важно распространять информацию об этом, вдохновлять людей тем, что мы можем делать свои шаги в космосе. And when she started her career uh, in space center, uh, she. From that time, she kept trying to impress other people uh, to get the space, to reach the space, and to be inside this kind of industry. Сейчас я понимаю, что очень важно рассказывать об этом детям, студентам, вдохновлять их. Now she understands that definitely understands that it's very important to impress uh, those students, those guys. Космическая сфера это та сфера, где uh, очень много людей соединяются. Uh, неважно, кто вы, врач или вы uh, инженер, uh, вы можете работать вместе для достижения одной цели. Uh, the space industry is the maybe only one industry when the people uh, from many, many different places, from many, many different professions can be combined together and get all together. And doesn't matter from either from medicine or from other other industries or engineering. Right. Katerina, you gave a very interesting presentation during the, um, during the lecture. I'm very impressed. And there were so many photographs and the details, the minute details, which were live details of the astronauts. You carry a legacy on your shoulders. So how, how far you and what, what all you plan to do in future to carry on this legacy? Что, что э, воспитываешь в семье космонавта, ты очень много узнал, и у тебя очень много вот этой легенды mm -hmm. на земле. И что ты планируешь с ней делать в будущем, как ты ее планируешь использовать? Uh, ну, uh, в первую очередь, я уже использую это в своей работе. She's already, first of all, she's already using it during her work. Потому что в Центре подготовки космонавтов мы принимаем очень много экскурсий, образовательных программ для совершенно разных людей. Because she carries all, many, many excursions and many, many activities in her training center. Uh, 
Это и дети, и это взрослые, состоявшиеся люди, которые хотят использовать опыт подготовки космонавтов в своей деятельности. And those guys could be either students or the very, very old guys who can use this kind of space experience in their current activities, ongoing activities. Также огромное количество людей из разных стран приезжают к нам не только из России. Мы рассказываем им про то, как устроен центр, как устроена подготовка космонавтов. And there are also people from many, many countries in the space center. Katerina, um, India and Russia, we have been friends, they work together in many fields, cultural, defense, space of course. So how more collaborations, what, what according to you think, how more we can collaborate more to get uh, better things and better um, opportunities in space? <coughs> Я верю, что человечество выйдет дальше, да, и когда-то состоится полет на Марс, и это, это естественный процесс изучать, идти дальше в космосе. So looking future, looking at the future, looking forward, she strongly believes that uh, there will be a day when uh, we leave the, our footprint on the Mars planet. And this is very natural for people. She believes that it's very natural for the mankind to expand their knowledge. Mm. So, are there any plans of collaboration of uh, Gagarin Institute with any of the Indian institutes for um, more uh, uh, no, uh, programs? Center for Cosmic Cosmonauts is always open to collaboration. And Indian cosmonauts have been doing preparation for us in the Center for Cosmic Я надеюсь, что в будущем будут какие-то совместные полеты, но я не, я не руководитель, да, и я, я надеюсь, что все это состоится. Они тренировались в прошлом году? So, there is an ongoing mission in India, Gaganyan mission, and those uh, crew, that crew trained in uh, their center, in Gagarin Space Center in 2021st. And uh, she hopes, she's not a decision maker, she's not a governmental, but she hopes that uh, it will keep continuing. That's, a, that's really nice. I mean, our audience will be definitely, it is a news to them that uh, the Gaganyan mission, they were trained at your center. So it means a lot to us as well. And uh, this is your first visit, Katerina, to India. So how is, is it going to be only work or you're going to explore more of India? личное, потому что я мечтала, можно сказать, с детства поехать сюда. That was a great event for personally for her because she dreamed from her childhood to visit your country. Когда я росла, у нас в доме было очень много сувениров привезенных привезенных моим дедушкой из Индии, и я смотрела на них, и это для меня казалось каким-то другим миром. Uh, when she was a child and grew up, uh, there in, in her apartment there were lots of uh, souvenirs from mm -hmm. India, uh, which uh, her grandfather grabbed from your country, and she dreamed to visit it, and now she's here. So, are you planning to meet more astronauts here, Indian astronauts here? Нет Ракеши Шармы здесь, потому что очень хотелось познакомиться с ним лично. Но я надеюсь, что это состоится в будущем. Unfortunately, Rakesh Sharma failed to be here. Yes, I was about to ask that. that... Yes, but she believes that she will meet him one day. I, that will be a great uh, opportunity for you and it, it will be a dream for you yeah, to yeah, meet him, yeah, isn't yeah, it? You yeah. will get to know so many more things and revive the old memories. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Thank you so much, Katerina. And it's such a pleasure. It, you're such a sweet person. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, thank you so much. And thank you so much, Alex, for thank translating you. her beautiful words it to us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you and have a pleasant stay in India from India. Thank you. Thank you.